Hello guys, uh, this is Mukesh. Today I'm going to teach you about the job application flow configuration. Job application flow here it is nothing but like a form which will be filled out by candidate whenever he applies the job. You must have applied many jobs uh, in multiple career sites or uh, job boards like the nomadi.com or some other stuff. So there you must have seen that you have to go through some application form like you have to provide your contact information details, address, work experience, education. So same way we are going to design the form in our C application. Let's go ahead and work on that. So I have logged in as a Curtis Petty uh, which is uh, Curtis is having uh, admin rights. So Let's go to setup and maintenance. We'll choose the recruiting and candidate experience. We'll go to functional area candidate job application. And here, sorry, not job application, candidate experience. Yeah, we'll go to job application flow configuration. Just click on it. I'll create it from the scratch. So I'll just take the name test test apply. Description you can give as per your requirement. And here you can see in the context information, we can contextualize this uh, job application flow based on the recruiting type. And we can choose multiple. I'm not uh, selecting anything here. So it means that it will be applicable for all the recruiting types. Save and continue. Now we will have to create the version. Let's go ahead and here by default. Uh, I am just going to put the version name test. And you can click on start on activation or you can provide the version start date as well but just I'm providing start on activation here we have the various details as you can see we'll go one by one in the legal disclaimer uh, in the recruiting content library you have to define the legal disclaimer and that if you are enabling it here it's kind of that whenever candidate applies the job and uh, he would see the one icon like i agree with the terms and conditions so there it would appear his signature at the end of the form candidate has to uh, digitally sign this uh, form so uh, his signature is uh, being used for that campaign opt-in uh, if uh, you are starting any campaign or marketing communication so the candidate can uh, uh, select or uncheck if uh, if he or if he wants to receive any marketing communication in future or not so he he that option will be enabled through this one page application flow and that is a meaning that when candidate is applying the job and uh, he could see all the details into the one page or there would be a multiple pages so for that we can use it uh, we are just unselecting it uh, we don't want to use this one uh, job alert opt-in uh, if candidate wants to receive the alert for the jobs which uh, will be posted in the future and if it is matching with the, their candidate requirements so they would receive the email so whether he wants to uh, uh, wants to go for that option or not that will be enabled through this one here we have the personal info in this section now uh, we have these blocks profile info contact information address so in the profile info if you have partner with uh, uh, multiple like uh, profile info vendors like uh, text kernel uh, so that will be enabled there or indeed so what it would do it will take your resume and it would pass the fields it would auto populate those uh, fields uh, from resume into the application form so it uh, reduces the work of the candidate contact information there would be some details related to like uh, first name last name email id 
phone number those details will be coming in the address there would be address format uh, as per the country uh, like a us a county a state uh, country and uh, work and chip code everything will be available there in this blog another section is that is a job application questions if any questions which was created and uh, which is uh, matching the requirement of the requisition so automatically those questions will be appearing there or manually you can also add uh, some questions if uh, their type is that uh, it should be added by the user so those are questions will be appearing in that requisition timeline in this area you will see the details uh, like uh, you uh, candidate will be able to provide uh, the work experience uh, or current job or the previous job details designation start or end date uh, so those details will be there Up, along with that he can provide the education details as well so that will be appearing in this timeline in more about you like a supporting documents here a candidate has to upload the resume or you can mark this field whether it is required or not or cover letter it's required or not social media is required or not in a social media field uh, he will be getting an option to provide the link of the linkedin uh, so that option will be enabled if i'll just select this one so these uh, uh, areas will be mandatory so candidate has to upload the resume that is mandatory else the candidate form will not be submitted i'm just i'm selecting this one see here you can see the licenses and certificates uh, that is the profile item so if you have created a profile item or section related license and certification in the talent profile so that will be appearing there so first that you have to select in the section i think uh, uh, for this video you know some uh, they should there should be some basic knowledge of the talent profile so they can understand this area yeah work preferences in the work preferences uh, like uh, work requirements and details and that will be appearing here so that is also coming from the talent profile so languages that also uh, will be created into the talent profile area sections so just to be selecting here so these are the pre or you you can also you know at the end summary it's a review and uh, you cannot do anything because uh, this block is locked and this block is also locked uh, but other blocks you can just uh, drag and drop you can move here if you want to remove it you can remove it there if you want to add it you can add it here if you want to add some extra you can do that like uh, preferred locations if you want to add it you can add it so just it's very easy the uh, drag and drop it so here i would like to give you the some details uh, let me see or in other videos of which i'm gonna make there definitely i'll share some knowledge but here let me uh, just share some information like uh, disability diversity and veteran these blocks only will be used for the us location uh, you cannot use it uh, for any other location except the us sensitive personal information here you will get the details uh, inside this blog there would be a date of birth social security number extra information like uh, i'll share the information in another video which i'm gonna make for the uh, job application flow you know, for the extra time so there i'll mention it uh, and uh, yeah so these are once you have filled out everything then uh, candidate will be receiving an email of the thank you that he has applied this job and uh, if a uh, file is suitable if uh, uh, this profile is suitable for the job then recruiter will reach out to the candidate and after that you can just come here and you can save and activate and you can save as a draft just i'm um, keeping save and activate so uh, this has been submitted and activated just i'll go back 
here you can see version which we have used the test and it it is activated but so after coming here you have to activate it again so now you can see the green symbol it's coming here so it means that your version has been activated what you have created for this job application flow now this job application flow will be appearing whenever you are going to create the requisition and you have to select this one so candidate will be able to see this job application form whenever they are going to apply the job if it is uh, used for that requisition i hope uh, you you got so much knowledge from this video thank you so much thank you thank you thank you so much and have a nice day